Hi, I'm Ben Pilling, Technical Marketing Manager for Digital Imaging at Sony Europe, and this is the Alpha 7 r Mark III. It's the latest camera in our Alpha lineup. It features a 42.4 megapixel full-frame Exmor R sensor and an evolved Bionz X processor. It can shoot up to 10 frames per second with full autofocus and auto exposure, either with the silent shutter or the mechanical shutter. It has a fast hybrid autofocus system featuring 399 phase detection points, covering around about 68% of the image sensor and 425 contrast detection points. And furthermore, it has in-body stabilization offering you up to five and a half stops of effective correction and outstanding 4K movie. That's with full pixel readout without pixel binning. All of these features are added to with great operability, which is inherited partly from the Alpha 9 to deliver a great addition to our lineup. The Alpha 7 R Mark III features a full frame sensor. It's an Exmor R structure which means it's back illuminated, giving great low light results. It also has 42.4 megapixels, so outstanding detail and resolution. But this is aided by an evolved Bionz X processor. This is the same processor that we use in the Alpha 9. And we also use the front end LSI from the Alpha 9 as well. Not only is the processor 1.8 times quicker than its predecessor, but along with the new front end LSI, it helps deliver even better image quality coming out of the sensor. That means we get even better low light quality and dynamic range than before, offering up to around about 15 stops of dynamic range. The Alpha 7 r Mark III can shoot up to 10 frames per second, and that's either with the newly developed low vibration mechanical shutter or in silent shooting. The camera uses a fast hybrid autofocus system. This combines phase detection autofocus with contrast detection autofocus. There are 399 phase detection autofocus points built into the image sensor, and these are very good at autofocusing quickly and tracking moving subjects. It also has 425 contrast detection autofocus points covering a wide area of the frame as well. Contrast detection is very accurate. These two types of focus can combine to give great results with the Alpha 7 R Mark III. Add on to that, we have the eye autofocus function, which has been very popular with our cameras, but compared to the predecessor, it tracks about twice as well with the Alpha 7 R Mark III. Furthermore, for low light autofocus, the camera can now focus down to EV minus three. The Alpha 7 R Mark III also has in-body image stabilization. This means that the sensor itself is suspended and can be moved to counteract shake of the camera. This works in five different axes, pitch, yaw, X, Y, and roll. And it can be effective up to five and a half stops. So that means you can use a shutter speed five and a half times slower than you would normally expect to be able to achieve without getting camera shake. The Alpha 7 R Mark III also features 4K movie recording. It can do this with the full frame or in APS-C or Super 35mm mode. If you're shooting in the APS-C or so-called Super 35mm mode, it does full pixel readout without pixel binning. That means it takes information from every single pixel it's using and combines them together to make that 4K image. It's effectively oversampling on the sensor to give really detailed 4K output. In addition to that, it also has hybrid log gamma or HLG. This means that you can record footage in camera that can be output on a 4K screen instantaneously in 4K HDR, rather than having to post-process and color grade your footage to give a HDR result. Furthermore, the Alpha 7 R Mark III features advanced video features you might be familiar with from our cameras. So it has picture profiles, S-Log2 and S-Log3, as well as slow motion option on there as well. The Alpha 7 R Mark III has great operability. So we now get a touch screen on the back, and this can also be used even while you're using the viewfinder. 
There are multiple options to deactivate certain parts of the screen if you're using the viewfinder so you don't accidentally touch somewhere you don't mean to touch, whether you're a left eye or a right eye shooter. And you can also customize that touch screen to be the relative or absolute. So you can either be dragging the point or pressing exactly on the screen where you want that to be while you're using the viewfinder. Speaking of the viewfinder, it's the same viewfinder as the Alpha 9. So that's 3.69 million dots and an OLED unit with a 0.78 times magnification. So it's big, it's bright and gives great color accuracy on there as well. The build quality, again, is very similar in size to the Alpha 9. So we get the same dial on the back, a bit more sturdier than the predecessor and many customizable buttons. Add on to this, we also have a dual card slot. So slot one is also UHS-2 compatible and works extremely well with the Sony SFG series. Furthermore, we have the Z series battery, which we had in the Alpha 9. This gives us up to around about 650 shots with the LCD screen by SEPA standards. And you might find in actual usage, you get even more than that. There are lots of customizable options for the Alpha 7R Mark III. So not only custom buttons, but you can also refine the autofocus settings on the camera in a similar way to the Alpha 9. The terminals on the Alpha 7R Mark III also differ slightly from its predecessor. We get two USB terminals, a micro terminal and a USB-C terminal. This means that you could use one for power while using the other one with our remotes. Or alternatively, we also have new software, Imaging Edge. It features Imaging Edge remote, viewer, and edit. With the remote software, you can tether with Live View. We also have, of course, a micro HDMI terminal and a headphone socket and a microphone socket as well. But what's new in comparison to the predecessor is a sync socket for Studio Flash. And again, that couldn't potentially be used up to 10 frames per second for really creative results. So that's the Alpha 7 r Mark III. Outstanding resolution dynamic range, up to 10 frames per second and a great autofocus system. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to the Sony Europe YouTube channel. And for more information on the product, visit the Sony website. Thank you.